Hey, how's it going? Thanks a lot for uh, showing up here. Uh, this is Router, and uh, I just want to talk about something a little different today. Uh, not so much um, um, guns. You know, look, uh, if you have a problem with guns, you should get over it because they're just another thing in the world. I mean, uh, if you don't have a swimming pool, you can't drown, right? So uh, if you have a gun, you're likely if you're not careful to get hurt by one. Uh, so far, so good with, in regard to my account, but um, I don't want to get into a big debate about guns or why uh, Europeans who never touch guns, of course, never get hurt by guns. But I really want to talk about synthetic oil. Now, this is the oil that I'm talking about. Uh, this is pretty much the only synthetic oil I deal with because it, uh, I use this in both of my cars. Um, this is basically what I use in my Triton engine, which re which calls for a 5W20, but uh, we know the 5W30 synthetic oil for a Triton 5.4 liter in my case, um, we know that this is uh, probably the best oil to put in that car, and it's kept that engine uh, really good. I actually, that Ford uh, is a 2007 that I've got. That I picked up right after they put in a remanufactured engine. <laughs> if you just do a little bit of research about the Triton 5.4 liter engine, it's a freaking nightmare. I have one of the later versions, um, just before they discontinued them, the three valve, uh, not the four valve. Uh, so, uh, and I've had good luck so far. I also have a, an Impala, you know, with these Chevy pushrod. Um, V6 engines, they're just, they're just, people talk about Toyota and everybody else, and they are good, in fact, uh, I own stock in Toyota, um, they are a good car, uh, they are a good manufacturer, but the GM V6 pushrod engines are just workhorses and they never die, as far as I can tell, but this oil right here is, um, is key, to me, this is key to, uh, to the longevity of pretty much any engine I've ever owned. Um, many years ago, my brother, when I, I mean, I, I guess going back 20 years, my brother was in the Navy and I never heard of synthetic oil. And he came home one day and uh, he told me about how the Navy in their quote unquote wet bearings, which is pretty much what a bearing in a car is, a wet bearing is just a bearing that you constantly pump oil through, that in all of the wet bearings and all the turbine engines, um, used synthetic oil. Not this synthetic oil, a much more concentrated and caustic, and that was what caught my ear, caustic synthetic oil. That uh, if apparently if you got it on your skin it would cause irritation uh, pretty quickly. Uh, this is more mild, this is like regular, pretty much regular oil, except uh, uh, the performance throughout the temperature range, well, I'm not even going to get into all the reasons why synthetic oil is superior, from the molecular blah 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 to the temperature ranges. Uh, it's just, it's if you care about your car and you want your engine to last, you will be using synthetic oil. Um, I remember I once had a guy told me, oh, you only use synthetic oil in a $50,000 car. Uh, but my opinion is a $15,000 car is plenty expensive to me. Anyway, what I'm really talking about is using synthetic oil to treat your firearms. Now basically, um, firearms are similar to cars in that um, you have hard metal that's rubbing against each other and uh, you want to lubricate it. Uh, you also want to protect it from rust out. Um, so this is one of the things that um, that we use oil for. So there's a lot of analogies to be known in terms of wear in and things like that uh, regarding um, just doing a little check there, you know. This is a beautiful firearm right here that I got. This is a uh, Smith and Wesson 1911. Um, just just a wonderful just a wonderful gun and ridiculously accurate. I mean, you, you feel like a genius shooting this thing. You go down to the range and you stand at 25 yards out from uh, a can or a, 
um, you know, one of those clay pigeons, those things that they shoot, uh, typically f throw up in the air and, and, and shoot at with uh, a shotgun. But you, you, you any, the, uh, just, just, just a lovely, beautiful weapon. And the nice thing about this has the external extractor, which just what it means is just, it's a little bit more reliable than your classic 1911. And 1911 really is just a, uh, typically we'll shoot the ACP 45 caliber uh, um, cartridge. Um, but it, it essentially has, you know, the safety is a certain way, it's built a certain way, you have to disassemble it, usually, like, I'm about to clean this thing, that's why I'm making this video, I use this tool, I'm not going to get into all cleaning, I'll get to that later, uh, I, no, I don't even know if I'm going to address cleaning um, this particular firearm in this uh, video, what I want to talk about is, and I mentioned it before when my brother was in the Navy and taught me how caustic um, synthetic oil it was, is, um, it, it, it was one of the reasons why I used it in the car. And I was using synthetic oil in cars long, long before I was, was even messing with firearms. Uh, synthetic oil to me was, it was about cars, really about metal, and, and some tools as well. I mean, you really can't go wrong using synthetic oil for anywhere that you would use conventional oil. And you can usually step it up a little bit to a little bit higher thickness with the synthetic oil because it's so consistent and flows so well. But one of, what I want to talk about is, um, especially if you're new to firearms, is you, especially if you have a nice firearm that you want to take care of, it's uh, so, and you can see the blackness here. And this is, I was out shooting at the range uh, recently, well, within the past couple of days. And uh, this is dirty, so it needs to be cleaned before I put it away. That's one of the things I actually enjoy about firearms is cleaning them. You know, this black stuff will completely come off and uh, it will, uh, you know, get restored to a nice finish and everything. But what I wanted to share was, is I don't use a solvent. Now, typically when you clean a firearm, you're supposed to use a firearm solvent. And then after you clean it with the solvent, then you come back and you lubricate it. Well, the beauty of synthetic oil is that you don't even need a cleaner. And that's really the main point of this video. In order to clean my firearms, I don't use a solvent. I don't, in fact, use any sort of gun I have. What is this? Uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, some kind of crap over here. I've had this for years, and I, I just tried it one day to see if it was, if this is a, some kind of solvent, right? Uh, some kind of gun cleaner stuff. I have something else over here. Whatever. I, I used it one day, and I was like, wow, this doesn't work any better than synthetic oil. And the point is that why would you use a solvent and then go on to use a lubricant, which is like the counter of a solvent? Now, I remember I, used, I had a boss uh, when I was working at a mechanical place who said, hey, you never put solvent into a bearing. Uh, you know, and I, I mean, we were doing that for years. You take a bearing out of a car, you clean it with solvent, and you repack it with grease. And if you do a thorough job, it's really not a problem. But I know where he was coming from. He basically didn't want people mixing solvents inside of bearings because if you have even a little bit of solvent in a bearing, any grease you pack in there, right, it's going to get broken down pretty easily. So the whole idea of solvent and lubrication are, are two ends of, of a spectrum. Solvent and lubrication work against each other. But the beauty of synthetic oil is that synthetic oil is a solvent as well as a lubricant. And that's why it's so good for your car engine. I mean, if people put this stuff in their engine to break down carbon deposits and everything, which is a, sort of what you have on a dirty gun, which you know what, what I'm getting at. But basically, um, to clean a gun, I don't even use a solvent. I clean it with the lubricant, which if, if you're just thinking about it, the idea of lubricating something while you're, look at that, it's already coming off. The, the, the effectiveness of synthetic oil to clean is just amazing. And you can see what's happening here. 
And, uh, you know, this gun, obviously, I have to totally take it apart, and, which is actually an enjoyable thing for me. I, I actually really like... I mean, it's almost as fun as shooting as taking the damn thing apart. And I think I'm more of a mechanic than a shooter. I'm more um, interested in... Um, you know, in taking things apart than actually shooting. In fact, shooting is a very monotone thing. You go down to the range and you shoot. You just try to keep up your skills. And, you know, once you realize, okay, I'm, 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 my reflexes are still pretty good. I understand the battery of arms of this firearm and, and the accuracy. And, you know, one of the other fun things about shooting is if you have a new scope, going down to the range and, um, and just uh, sighting in a scope. And that's actually really fun. Uh, once the damn thing's sighted in, you run out of fun. It's like, okay. And I remember one time I had my girlfriend down there, and we were shooting uh, an AR-15, and it was all sighted in. And she had a point. She's like, well, what's fun about this? I mean, you know, she shot it, and she, had, she enjoyed shooting it and everything. Um, but she was like, well, you put the, the this crosshair on something, you pull the trigger, and there it goes. It fires. It shoots it. She's right, because basically once you've done, once you know the firearm works, you you know how it operates, and you sight it in, and everything's all set, and you're able to operate it properly, it kind of starts to get boring at that point. Yeah, you can do drills and things. I mean, yeah, I, I'm certainly, you know, I mean, that's not lost on me. Anyway, the purpose of this video, look at that. I mean, it's not perfectly clean yet. I mean, just a little bit of rubbing. Now the beauty of using synthetic oil to clean is that there's no conflict in the solvent, right? Basically, and I would I would do this. I would use a brush, you know, maybe um, uh, a little toothbrush. You know, nice thing about old toothbrushes is that you get to use them for, uh, you know, just dip that in my synthetic oil. You know, and basically this is how I would clean the end of that. Well, this would all be disassembled, right? So I know people, oh, no, no, you're, you're, yeah, I'm, I'm aware that you would disassemble this. But my point here is just to show the effectiveness. Now, if you remember what this looked like, it looked, it looked like the metal was burnt. I remember I had a friend of mine, it's like, oh, look, the metal's ruined. It was, you know, because it was discolored, had that weird blue, you know, it was like blue into black into some other color. But basically, look at that. I mean, the effectiveness of synthetic oil to clean a firearm, is there's just no question about it. Um, and it cleans as well, or I would, I might even say better than the official, oh, this is to clean a gun crap. The, you know, the stuff that, you know, oh, you got to go to the gun store and get a solvent. And if I, I'll tell you the truth. If I was going to use a solvent, I'd be at Home Depot. Well, actually, I have some downstairs, but I, I would just be buying paint thinner or I would find the right solvent. Because that's all, to me, that's all, sh you know, I, I, I actually have a hard time believing most people. I don't, I don't trust mechanics or doctors or plumbers or I, there's almost nobody I trust anymore. And it's getting worse as I get older. Because if you just sort of have a little bit of understanding, you can sort of take care of almost any problem yourself. But I just wanted to share that. And uh, I'm going to get on to cleaning the rest of this firearm. Uh, we already did the uh, check, but in case, you know, some people get nervous, they don't like, even if you point this back at them in the camera, they get nervous. I had somebody write me a message. You know, it makes me nervous when you point that at the camera. It's like, all right, man. Uh, but the the synthetic oil, which is like on this thing, and that's the other thing. When you have synthetic oil sort of in the rails and everything on the gun, the gun kind of wants to stay clean. Anyway, you get the point. Synthetic oil is just this miracle thing for your car, for anywhere that you're having burn up of... Uh, you know, particulate or whatever, whatever the hell burns up in your stuff. Look at this. It just comes off. It just, uh, I guess I threw the other thing out as I was talking. Uh, but it just comes off. And the beauty, the real beauty is at the end when you're done. Obviously, I have to finish this and take it apart and actually really clean it. But when you're done, it's lubricated. So there's no cleaning and then lubricating. 
and there's no sort of making sure that all of the solvent is out of it. It's, uh, you clean it, and it's lubricated. It's really a beautiful thing. Now, the other thing, just since we're on the subject, in terms of lubrication, what I'll do is I'll take some grease. This isn't Molly grease. This is just red grease. This is like wheel bearing grease or some damn thing from the uh, from Pet Boys. I'll take this and I'll actually mix this slightly with uh, synthetic oil and then use that on the rails. Very light, like I'll take a little tiny bit. And in fact, the way that I, the way that I distribute um, the oil on the rails is like this. I'll actually use one of these dental picks and I'll, of course, after it's disassembled and I'll put some along the rail and then basically, or, or I'll take this, take a little bit of uh, grease and I'll actually uh, dunk it you know so now I have this nice little I don't know this this sort of uh, you know concoction of grease mixed with synthetic oil which is really effective it's really effective and that's it I mean I don't I, I, you've seen that or that uh, stuff I had over there the the hops gun cleaner or whatever which is a million years old because I used it once it worked about as good as the synthetic oil and of course it's solvent, so you have to make sure it cleans off. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's a nice gun, isn't it? I mean, you know, for those of you who, are, who don't live in fear, you know, who can recognize beauty. I mean, one of the things that, that we like about guns or cars or whatever is that it's this hard metal. It's this, um, you know, it, it's, it's these materials that this stuff is made of. Um, and the beauty that, that comes about um, just because of, uh, I don't know, I think it's some maybe genetic problem or something. Um, that's a 1911, that's a Smith & Wesson, Dirty Harry uh, brand, not, not gun, but his brand. Um, and uh, boy, this, this is just a fun gun to shoot. This is a 45 caliber, this is like what used to be standard in the Army. Um, it's it's uh, the interesting thing about the 45 is very thin. Very thin gun. It's big, but it's and heavy, and it's but it's a thin gun, and it's a single stack, you know, instead of staggered, and um, only holds like I think I think this guy holds eight rounds, um, maybe nine with one in the chamber. I forget exactly. Uh, I usually when I'm shooting at the range, I'll put five rounds in there and fire, and put five rounds in. You know, I, I don't. Uh, and I think when I went down to the range, maybe I shot, it wasn't really that filthy, right? I think I, I shot maybe 20 rounds out of this. I didn't shoot too many. I just, uh, I just wanted to go down there and just uh, pump out a couple rounds. I belong in a club, so I don't have to pay every time I go down there. I pay once a year, so I can just sort of go down there and shoot 10 rounds and then come back home. I, I shot some other, you know, some other gun down there I shot. And, but again, the point of this video is the magical, magical beauty of synthetic oil. And I have to say, you know, you know, some people buy the AMS oil and all these special brands of oil. This mobile one right here, this, this full synthetic, this is, man, I, this is like magical stuff. I don't know what I would do if I found myself in a parallel universe where they only had conventional oil. I imagine I would get by, but... Uh, who knows? All right, so um, I hope uh, nobody got too afraid. And, you know, uh, I only have like three subscribers, and I don't want anybody to get scared and run away. It's it's just you know it's it's just uh, it's fun to shoot. Um, we you know we're not out there killing people. I I, I don't kill animals. I don't hunt. I, I just I just like to shoot uh, innocent ceramic and um, you know pieces of paper and tin cans and stuff and the occasional really poor sorry uh, warm beer that's that's kinda of fun to shoot of course you gotta shake it up first on a hot day um, but of course we're talking about synthetic oil here today so again thanks for watching um, and um, you know if you don't own firearms it's it's something it's a good thing to master 
I mean, if you think about it in terms of world history, Americans are kind of unique in the fact that uh, we recognize the individual as sort of being competent enough to own firearms and to operate them and, and allowed, you, you know, I'm, I'm here in my house and I have firearms and I've never shot or you know, I, don't, I don't have any desire and I get pissed off like anybody else and I don't shoot people and I, I don't even get the, I don't even get the fantasy to go shoot people. I just... It's just, uh, it's just, um, it's like anything else that's dangerous. I mean, you could go cliff diving or you could, you know, just driving your car is a dangerous thing. It involves other people and their safety and, um, you know. But people do do careless things with, uh, with guns and cars and, you know. So, um, so when, when you're around this stuff, yeah, things can happen. Um, but if you ban this stuff, then yeah, no th things won't happen. But you know, you, you don't you have less freedom. You ban swimming pools and uh, you know make it so that people can only drive to work. And I mean, you can do all kinds of things to try to protect people. But I think in the end, uh, when you just have the freedom to be competent and um, and just do do uh, the things that are good in your heart. Okay, I'm going a little off track. Remember. Synthetic oil, use it in your car, use it in your cereal, use it in your gun, use it on your cat, use it in your, you know, what else do we, what else is a good put? Oh, you know, tools, coat your tools with it. It's just, it's just awesome stuff, man. It's just what I'm saying. It's just awesome stuff. And I've not seen anybody make a video that talks about how synthetic oil, synthetic oil is good for their firearm when it is superior for any application that involves oil. And it is superior when you want to clean, when you want to keep your engine clean, when you want to keep your firearm clean, when you want to keep your tools. I use this to clean my tools. I don't use solvent anymore except to thin paint or, or clean off a paintbrush. Uh, if I'm going to actually clean something that's kind of dirty or oily, um, I'll use synthetic oil. And that includes my tools. All right, all right. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Um, blah, 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 blah. It's a simple video, but I just wanted to share my thing about synthetic oil. You know, my, uh, do my, uh, what, what, is the, what is the, what's the Christian thing? Uh, I wanted to uh, evangelize for synthetic oil. That's right, baby. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good day.